Steve never said anything bad about anyone. And that's kind of how, you know, that's how I remember him. Yeah. You know, he was just a good hearted guy. Before I joined the band, I called some guys that are, you know, in our industry and that, and everyone was like, cause I didn't know him at all. Right. And I was skeptical to join the band anyway, because, you know, I'm not, I don't sing like Phil Lewis and, yeah. I, you know, I, and I want to do my own thing. And Steve talked me into it along with my wife saying, you should just do it. And I said, okay, great. And I'm glad I did because I learned from Steve, you know, he was a veteran, toured around the world multiple times. He did albums with huge people. He, you know, he did it all. And was he a storyteller or was he pretty quiet until you kind of unlocked that and got talking to him about it? He was pretty quiet. Sometimes he would like, we'd be driving home from the, we recorded two albums, all of us there together, which was, I think that was the, that's the biggest memories I'll take is us busting our butts in the studio. Yeah. Old you know, school. Yeah. Learning from each other, writing with each other changing stuff last minute, trying different stuff. And it was like, everyone was really great about it. And Steve was always like, yeah, who has ideas? You know what I mean? But yeah, as far as stories go, he, you know, he'd be, he'd drop me back at the hotel because he lived in Hollywood there. And uh, he'd be like, oh yeah, when I was playing with Wasp, they asked me if I wanted to do the gig. And I said, yes. He goes, I didn't know how to play double kick at all. Not at all. So I just woodshed it and went back and just practice and practice and practice that's kind of the outlook he told me to take like just do it yeah, figure it, it out shot. yeah figure it out now you know look at wasp the signature drums steve riley come on you know 